I'd like to welcome you to uh, Speaking Life with Yancey and Victoria. Um, Vic, would you like to say hi? Hello, everyone. And you had uh, something you wanted to share today that you just, uh, the Lord put on your heart? Yeah, it's John 14, 15 through 18. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. The last part also brings memories of my dad. His He was never really in my life. And so, um, but it's been amazing because the Lord, when he came into my life, he changed my life and he be, and became my father. You know, and I, I grew up with just awesome parents and, you know, they're always around and they always helped us. And, and so, you know, uh, it was a little different with me and, and Vic as we uh, kind of got to know each other, you know, and I, it was a long time where Vic just uh, was um, praying for me and, and all types of stuff, you know, and she, uh, she just really was seeking the Lord and uh, she'd run around with this little gold Bible, what was it called? Um, good News. Good, oh yeah, Good News Bible that she got from her mom. You know, and her mom used to take her around to uh, revivals and stuff and uh, kind of make her sit through them, I guess. And how those things make you feel, Vic? <laughs> um, yeah, she took me to all the revivals and took me to, like, the Red Hall in Parmalee. She took me. And um, I didn't like it. Um, the, the songs that they sang and, or the, I don't know, just reading out the book and stuff was just really boring to me and I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. <laughs> you know, in, uh, in Ephesians five, it talks about, uh, that we walk in wisdom. It says, uh, see that we walk circumspectively, not as fools, but as wise, Re redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand the will of the Lord and do not be drunk with wine in which is dispensation, but be filled with the spirit. Speaking to, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God, the Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in in the the fear of God. You know, while we went to the um, services, we went up to a, a small, uh, what was it, a, a, a Baptist church, and they had some... Uh, what do you call it, hymnals, right? Yeah. And they, they had some songs in there that, you know, were real, real familiar from our childhood, right? Yeah. They, yeah, they reminded me of, of when I, they reminded me of whenever I was growing up. And some of them songs were kind of boring, huh? <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, it, it's hard to uh, understand, I guess, understand the authority that God puts in, in places. And, and uh, it talks about that in, in, uh, in the households and in, the, in your uh, family and, and just how we, how we love each other and how much Christ loves us. You know, um, in Ephesians 5, it talks about uh, wives submitting to your own husbands as the Lord and the husband's head of the house head of the wife and as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body therefore just as the church is subject to Christ let wives be to their own husbands in everything but it also says husbands love your wife as that Christ loved the church and he gave himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of the word and he might present himself a glorious church not having spot wrinkle or anything such that but that she should be holy without blemish. So husbands ought to love his own wife as his own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. You know, um, it's hard to change the way you think and, and start to love things like 
old hymnals and and things like that you know it's just hard to hard to change the way you you are you know and, and i was like man i gotta read that book i was actually kind of teasing around a little bit huh and <laughs> and but you know then i started see, seeing people getting together and, and and singing and it just it changed the way i thought about it and uh and then we then our pastor you know was starting to sing with them and he's, he's the first one we went up to see and um and later on we heard that he got saved in a baptist church you know him and his wife right yeah and and that was just just you know um it opened up your your heart to those things you know and to how god uses that stuff it probably opened up his heart a little bit more than it did mine, but because I still find it boring. But, but yeah, I can I can see it now that it's and God can use. Yeah, God can use any any place and anyone. You know, and while we're there, we had a, a really good time talking to some people too. You know, and I, I really enjoyed uh, the time up there, and you know, um, talking about leaving the orphan. You know. Um, you know, my father passed away about two years ago, and and while we were there, um, he brought an uh, older gentleman up, and the older older gentleman asked uh, what my name was, and we we talked about our relatives because we knew some of we were, I was related to some of the people that were there, and um, and he actually had worked with my dad. He was a, he was a a police officer on a different reservation, and my and my dad was a criminal investigator over here, but he. Uh, started to share um, a lot of people that I knew, you know, and it was really, you know, as we were getting food, what did, he went over and he wanted to sit by us, right, Rick? Can I sit by me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he thought we were going to go sit back in the, back in the, um, where the chairs were, where we had services, but, you know, we actually sat at a table in, in the little dining area, and he said, oh, are you going to sit here? So he, he stayed there, right? And he could just see that, that spark in his eye. He wanted to talk about, you know, the old times being a cop. But but the conversation led a little deeper. And it, he talked about um, some people that I know and, and Vic knows as well that, you know, that, uh, and one of the pastors that has been mentoring us for a long time and his wife, we just kind of uh, have been to revivals and services with them. You know, and they were there the first time I ever shared at a, at a camp meeting you know, to pray for us, and I mean, actually, the pastor that we we go to uh, church at in 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 uh, Parmalee, um, where Vic shared about not not wanting to be there, right? Uh, he also yeah. they also they all knew each other, and and they they'd been having services in the early early eighties, late seventies, up and maybe into the nineties, you know, and they talked about. You know different things of God that happened, and it was really awesome to see that second generation of of um, people serving the Lord. And you know we we seen his daughter up there uh, just praising the Lord. It's just a blessing to see that. And I know your mom would have been just blown away with where you're at right now, huh, Vic? Um, yeah, because <clears throat> before she passed away, I was. A- she saw me walking with the Lord for about a year, and I know that made her really happy. Uh, who gave you your first Bible? Um, my mom did. She That was the Bible we were talking about earlier, talked about the Good News Bible. When I went to her and I found, she she went looking for it and found it for me, and she was really, she was really excited. So, yeah. You know, um, I'll... Vic dumped out her her bag today, and she had a bunch of things in there. And um, what was always in your mom's bags? <laughs> in my mom's bag was always um, uh, like um, a spoon, uh, the sweetener for like nature sweetener or sugar, and like little pieces of paper and probably a paper clip and cough drops. And that's I think the only thing that was missing from my bag was probably a paper clip. Yeah, I was teasing her this evening as, we, as she dumped it out. So, she, she, you are your mom, right? <laughs> she had a little Bible thing in there, and she had all her 
medicines and just like a grandma bag, you know, just, and, um, you know, as we, um, it says you'll never leave us orphans, you know, and Vic talked about it. You know, you're not really having a dad around, but, you know, he brings people around us, you know, to just encourage us. And, and it says that, you know, the husbands are to water, water, water their wives with the word, you know, and, you know, it's close to, val it's Valentine's Day right now. And, and uh, we just kind of, we're sharing uh, verses and, and uh, Jesus talked to Peter and he said, uh, if you love me, you know, feed my sheep. And, you know, a lot of times we'll spend time just reading our Bibles, huh, Vic? Mm-hmm. And our version. Yeah, U version. So we had different versions of the Bible. Our U version app. And um, as we uh, kind of started growing the Lord, we had different Bibles. I know uh, as we were driving up to Lord Brule and you got, was that that day? Where you got that other Bible out of the blue car? Yeah. We had a... She had a little New Testament Bible we got from a hospital, I think. When, and uh, it was just uh, wore out, falling apart that she keeps in the car. And um, Go ahead and share a little bit about that, Vic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, the Bible, the New Testament, it stays in my in the van. Actually, it was in the Forerunner. Then I moved it to, I moved it to the van eventually. But it started to fall apart in... Um, but I still wanted to keep it because I was attached to it. But just recently, I got the the, the new one out of the out of our other car, and I put it in there. And so, yeah, now it's now it's in our van. You know, I I took a picture of it and put it on Facebook too, just to kind of tease Vic, cause, and you know, but still, you know, I'd see her reading it whenever we'd be driving when she wasn't sleeping, but. Uh, <laughs> She likes to fall asleep every time we drive a little bit, but if she's not sleeping, she's either listening to gospel music or or getting after the kids or or uh, looking for iced coffee or or she's reading her Bible and you know it's just been like that for years now and you know and and we talked about that good news Bible and I don't know how many versions of the Bible we've seen Vic. Yeah, I like the NLT, and you know, I learned and I learned something out of each of them. But what I like to read is the New King James version. But I know today we were just looking at the NLT one that uh, we got from this church, and you know, I remember when I first read it, and what what I got out of it was the NLT. I don't know, back in 2011, and it talked about the fruits of the spirit. And I just thought it was so beautiful. On that, on it's just been amazing. Yeah, I mean, I remember when uh, we'd go to the hospital and that with her mom, and she'd just be sitting out there reading her Bible, and um, you know, it's just been amazing when her mom was sick, and when how long ago was that your mom passed away? Like seven Two, years. Two thousand eleven. Yeah. Seven years ago. And so you know. And and Vic's just been on fire for the Lord since then. And I'm gonna I'm gonna read a little bit here back in John 14. It says, "A little while longer, and the and the world will see me no more, but I will see me, but you will see me because I live. You will live also. At that day, you will know that I am the I am in my Father, and you in in me, and I in you. And he who has my commandments and keeps them is." It is he who loves me, and he who loves me, he will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. You know, it's just, we share this stuff just because we, you know, we just love the Lord, and, you know, being Valentine's Day, we just want to share that love. It says that, you know, if we love me, you know, feed my sheep, you know. And and that's kind of what, I guess, Vic wanted to do with this this type of um, podcast, Yeah, and, you know, with that, we're going to end and just say happy Valentine's Day to everybody and just thank you guys for tuning in. Um, have a great day. And, and we love you all. <laughs>